Hey folks, Quillitin here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate. It is our insanely evil playthrough. We're on insane difficulty, and uh, we are picking people that we normally wouldn't be able to have in a, a good aligned party. We still have Jahira, which is kind of the exception, but we have plans to dump her relatively soon as we seek out Eldoth, who's not necessarily a, a god-tier NPC for the group, but uh, will fit the criteria of being new anyway. Last episode, we cleared out the bandit camp up over here, the bandit camp, and we have gotten the breadcrumb now to head over to Cloakwood, and it is in uh, in Cloakwood. I think it's the third Cloakwood map. One, two, it'll be somewhere like right over here, I think, um, where we're going to find Eldoth. So we're going to beeline there, and then we've got a ton of side quests that we're going to complete. A bunch of stuff that's due to turn in. I just was kind of waiting until we had the full party so that the XP would go to Eldoth as opposed to Jahira um, as much as possible. Now, um, after killing the big bad of the bandit camp over here, End of the episode, said I was going to loot all the containers, which I have gone and done. Um, making a good use of Edwin with uh, the knock spell, actually, which uh, proved to be incredibly useful. And in doing that, it turns out there was a pack of dudes right over here that we hadn't cleared out. Another named person. Uh, so I, I just happened to do that while I was, I was doing the clearing. Um, also spent uh, some time reorganizing and... Um, Organizing uh, items as well as doing some extra IDs. We still have uh, these gauntlets, which I have an ID. Did ID the Deadshot plus two, um, which I put on Quill, which is good because really, like the bow damage, he does attack twice per round, which made a difference, but the bow damage really wasn't that great. Maybe I should have switched over to mailing with Varscona. Um, I mean, Quill has almost as many hit points as Dorn, uh, and AC is about the same. In these open maps where bottlenecks aren't too much of an issue, I probably should have been whacking with Varscona a little bit more. Luckily, the Deadshot plus two is uh, is going to put it back into contention. I mean, it's five to ten damage versus uh, ten to seventeen, uh, but the Deadshot will attack an extra time per round, uh, and you know, be able to attack from range without having to walk around to do it. So overall, I think we're still doing pretty good with our range combat over here. And yeah, the, the plus two damage on this is quite useful. Uh, not to mention the plus three to hit. Kagan also leveled up by killing that last uh, bandit lieutenant. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I mean, it's not gonna be anything exciting when our fighter levels up. We're gonna get a Thacko improvement. We're gonna get some hit points. Although now he's sitting at 60 HP. He's got twice the hit points as fricking Dorn. Um, partially it helps that Kagan has leveled up an extra time, I think. But uh, there we go. We'll go ahead and do that. Can't remember if anything else sort of got changed. Um, I mean, spell memorizations still there. I don't think I did any tweaks to anything here because it wasn't anything substantial. We do have two level one spells per day on Quill. Uh, so it's going to be double identifications for now because, again, he's going to be wearing armor in combat. So we're not using him as a as a main spell caster quite yet. Just a utility person, although it's very, very, now. very useful. Uh, yeah, I think with that, we're going to check out this cave. I don't remember what's in this cave. At all. So we'll do a little pre-buffing. Let's go. Flynn's... Okay, there's a name guy, who I'm assuming is going to banter with us briefly before turning hostile. No elite, no veteran. Okay, alright. I think what I'll do is I'll have everyone sort of just focus on taking out one source of damage immediately, the No Lasher, and that'll be okay. So this is going to be a irritating. great candidate for a sleep spell in this area. Um, and Viconia, why don't you drop a command on the No Elite? Okay. There's banter. You come to mock Scarclax. Scarclax's clan has been in the cave long enough. Let us out now or die. Um, yeah, why are you in here? We're in here because of trouble. We cause in camp. Big brawl two nights back. Should oh, they're in detention. Oh, all right. I get it. You were bad. I don't know if there's anything else I do. I might fl now? fire a second sleep spell for anything that uh, makes it safe over here. Yeah, so we actually only got a couple of things on the sleep. There you go. A couple more over there. Beautiful. I was going to say, I did the poo poo um, Zan um, when we ran into him in the Nashkel Mines, but as a specialist enchanter, he does give a minus two penalty to saving throws on, um, on enchantment spells, including sleep. So he is like the god tier guy for putting things to sleep. 
So I probably shouldn't have been. People don't like him because his opposition school is evocation. Well, I, I mean, I don't think his stats are that great, and his sword is like misleading. Like you don't really want him meleeing. But to be honest, enchantment spells are amazing in Baldur's Gate One. They do fall off in BG Two. You know, as far as, as far as I think, and I've only ever played through Baldur's Gate Two a single time, and never the expansion, never thrown a ball. I've also never played through uh, Siege of Dragonspear. Baldur's Gate 2, I have like, Iranicus's dungeon, I have that like, oh, super duper memorized from, from trying to do it numerous times. Then after that, it's a big blank memory hole in terms of what goes on. I know you like, Imwin gets taken, you gotta side with either the Shadow Thieves or uh, Bodhi the Vampire. Uh, yeah, and then at some point you end up going to the place, the, the mage prison, which I don't know what it's called. Is it spell hold? And then, uh, I don't know. But yeah, other than that, I really have very little memory of the game. So, so it's going to be different. Again, here in Baldur's Gate, I do got to apologize. Some people might not have appreciated the, the pace of the game. But my intention, especially through the earlier parts of Baldur's Gate 1 here, is to kind of go fast so that I could get to the later stuff that I'm not as familiar with and get, you know, get to the late game content, get to Baldur's Gate 2 and so on. But uh, yeah, so I mean, if you weren't happy with the fact that we're not really doing the role playing and story, I mean, I get it, it's fair, but that's still gonna be the plan for now. I think we're gonna slow down a lot when we enter the city of Baldur's Gate, because um, I don't have like all the side content and everything memorized the same way that we've got it here. Okay, now that that's done, I think we can leave this area. Can I exit through the top of the map? I must be able to. go what we're gonna do is we'll head to say friendly arms in and poke the left hand side of the screen oh like did I get waylaid no just some goons who want to die I assume the fastest way you know, should we go in and rest no we don't need to just need to make our way over to the left hand side of the screen because we'll rest when we get into cloakwood so our goal when we get to Cloakwood here is we're just going to go and run to the left-hand side of the map twice. Through Cloakwood 1, Cloakwood 2, to get to Cloakwood 3, and then we'll pick up Eldoth. And then once he's in a party, we're going to come back and do lots of things. we got to kill Basilius so that we can get uh, Viconia an amazing Warhammer. Although, um, her melee is really going to be questionable until we get her the Gauntlets of Ogre Power? what they're called. I don't even remember where we get them at this point. So we'll just head down. If we do head to the south here, I think this is where we find the um, not the Zvarts, the other things that have uh, the cloak. Or is it Gurk? Tazloys. That's what they are. How may I be of assistance? Peter now what's great is we don't have to choose whether we are returning the cloak to Gurk or not. Because when we bring it to Gurk, he's like, he refuses. He doesn't want it. There it is. Speak so we get to keep gone. it regardless. Nature what is servant it away. I will listen for now. Oh, you're full. Cool. Yeah, you've got a lot of bandit scalps. Plus, you are carrying some heavy armor, which should have a decent resale value. I think what we will do is we're going to pick a vendor. Um, next Be time direct. we are... Um, next time we're in town, so probably when we go to Baragost to... Oh, I can get the Cloakwood from the bottom here? Well, that's interesting. Maybe exiting any side of a Cloakwood map reveals the other parts of Cloakwood? Wait, if that's true... No, okay. It's not actually true. Tibber... What do you tell us about? Oh! Your Excuse brother me? with the Please spiders. Let me speak before you attack. Yeah, what troubles you? Yeah, your brother's got the sword. Spider Bane was going to go and do some spider things. Uh, oh, right, so there's going to be a bunch of spider web traps in this map. Okay. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll find him. It's fine. Mostly we'll find his sword. We're very excited about that. I believe right here there's actually a web trap. I got to remember to get the throwing knives for Dorn. I gave him the uh, the dagger proficiency. We can throw some in here for place times we when we are... Uh, you look tired. When when we've got someone trapped and we want to melee from range. Oh yeah, I got it. Should I just put on? There's gonna be a lot of uh, annoying trap shit on this map. So rather than constantly swapping my armor on and off, I'll just go ahead and wear some leather armor. There we go. I mean, I can't still can't cast spells with it, but that's gonna be okay. 
I'm actually going to rest because we did get exhaustion. And with that in mind, I will go and um, let me just put this on the ground for a second. I will go and ID these gauntlets. Plus one Thacko, plus two damage. I think I might give it to me because of the extra damage, which I think is going to get extra bang for a buck on our longbow stuff here. Yeah, I think that's going to be all right. Let's ID this. just a plus one quarter staff. I'm sure of it. And we'll just fling it on someone else. Okay, re-equip this. Thank you. I will listen okay. Now. Oh, you why don't you go so and shield big. yourself up there, Eddie? Direct. So I definitely, I'm, I definitely am gonna want to clear the spider cave of whatever. Oh, here there's a little dead end, isn't there? With uh, with an item. Oh, is there a spider trap here? A web trap? Maybe not. Okay. Let's say it didn't feel like an area that's got it. I think they're mostly, you know, in the trees. Ooh, it's loud here with the running water. But every time I see a spider, I assume it's a prelude to a trap. How may I be with assistance? Speak and be gone. I don't need lore to like auto ID shit, do I? I will listen. I guess because my actual wizard level is pretty low, I'm still only level two. I wonder if Edwin could do it. Now Eldoff is a bard, so I'm betting he can auto ID a lot of stuff. In fact, we'll probably make him the, the primary ticker upper. I've actually never had a bard in my party in Baldur's Gate ever. I don't even remember how their spell casting works in um, in Baldur's Gate. I think they learn spells like a wizard, right? I think they're more like a wizard than a sorcerer, which sorcerer type themed bards is kind of a little bit more how things go in later editions. All right, caps are so disgusting. I they're like just one of the worst creatures out there. I think there's no spiderweb trap network. They're just gross looking. They also can be annoying to fight in this game. I mean, we're going to be fine here because we should be fairly high level. We've done a lot of side content. We've picked up some good gear. We've got some strong characters. Group up a little. Although, maybe not if there's traps here. Oh! -ho! I didn't even know. It's just like, hold on. It's been a while. We're back in the woods. I suspect who face spiders. Well, not as bad as uh, sword spiders are the really dangerous ones. There's a great druid kit that lets you shapeshift into sword spider. And he will just go and obliterate everything. It's amazing. Lots of things we had from these spiders. No sorrow for those lost in righteous battles. Um. Yeah, 17 hit. No, wait. Open door. Edwin just hits 20 straight up. Boom. I mean, it's 10 damage doubled. All right. The Be face direct. spiders, I don't think, hit that hard. <laughs> all right, all right. Prove me wrong. Be direct. Kagan, uh, let's make sure you get aggro there, buddy. Thank you. Speak and be gone. I was like, they don't. I don't think they hit that hard. I think they mostly just got lucky. And then. Go pester someone else. No aggro on you. Thank you. I will listen for now. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Poison, too. Um, I have... When I did level up, I did get the built-in horror, but yeah, I don't have a room poison built-in. Um, I think we should probably just have you drink an antidote. Because remove poison is quite slow. We'll have you drink this. And then we'll have our clerics try to drop a heal on you. Okay, so we still get the level up on Dorn. And be gone. She's gonna be good. It's gonna be another 10 HP on him. And we know there's a trap here because we just spotted it when we died. Thacko, hit points, lore, no more specialized or no more proficiencies, which is fine. He doesn't really need it. I will listen. What is it now. this time? Clicky clicky. Alright. Be direct. Oh, another space fire. Might not have triggered there. I don't yeah, and I'm just gonna make sure Kagan takes the initial attack. Speak and be gone. This would be a good one to just throw some throwing knives on Dorn. What did that? Why did it switch over to Edwin? Does it reset aggro after a jump? But Edwin's so far back. Maybe it's designed to like try to trigger something from the back. 
Speak and be gone. He's doing a second jump there, although it jumped to Dorn. I, I kind of intentionally put Jor Dorn sort of one step forward to hope that would be the case. Oh, we got a spider respawn behind us. Just a giant spider, though. It's not as bad as it could be. Kagan is poison again. I'm hoping that if he's not being directly targeted, I don't have to worry. Oh, hang on. You do... Shit, I'm also poison. How may I do with assistance? Uh, that's less than great. Uh, hold on to that. What is it this time? You healing potion. Night Singer, give me power. You do that. So we're going to remove poison from Kagan and drop this heal on him. So we're just going to drink the potion for healing to get a bit of a buffer in there. And then he can use Larlock's Monitor Drain as well. I don't want to talk. <laughs> get a bit more HP. Oh my god! What? I, I didn't think these spiders would be so bad! Holy crap! Be direct. Let's chant. I mean, I think it's very much the sort of thing, either we're just gonna ha explode them. It's, it's gonna be very, like, first hit matters kind of thing for this. There we go. See? Totally fine this time. I mean, I don't think it's the chant either just how the rolls go. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Let's disarm that while we're here. How may I, be I think if we come back to the map, any detected direct. traps will stay detected. Uh, we may as well disarm them while we're here. I actually don't know if I can leave the map from this point. This looks trappy. Yes, no, maybe so. No? I am thinking I can't leave the map over here, though. Pretty map. I mean, all spiders aside. Okay, well... I guess we're going to go this way. Yeah, that's that respawn giant spider. A lot of maps have um, respawn spots where once you're out of vision and then you come back or out of a certain range and you come back, uh, it'll have spawned something. It's not, it's not entirely random. It's mostly that. It just constantly resets. Pretty waterfall. Okay, tell me I can leave the top of the map. Okay, I don't want to go in there. Sword spiders. Okay, that's a lot of potential damage here. They attack super fast. I don't know if they poison. So much as just have like infinitude attacks. Again, you disturb me. Okay. For now. I think I'm out of healing spells. I mean, Kagan can regen, but. Oh, there's another heal. How are we doing? We got another cure Nature light. We got another slow poison. That's probably the last cure light. It was. I guess I'm gonna try resting. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. And since I rested, let's ID. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can keep this anyway. Yeah, the, the whispers of silence. I don't think there's anything that actually interacts with this system in Baldur's Gate. So we'll probably just sell that, the non-detection. I might be wrong. Unless I'm wrong, and I am never wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong in this case. I will oh, I should have ID'd the ring. I think it's a ring of the princes. Ring protection plus one. So yeah, in the enhanced edition, they, they gave, like, most items some sort of unique name, which... It's kind of interesting, but also, I'm not sure if it was strictly required. And and actually, even with the Unity game, sometimes you'll find two copies. Like, you'll find a bunch of Ring of the Princes. I mean, they're just Rings Protection plus one. I get it for things that are truly unique. Okay, if I pop out the north side here... There we go. Alright! So I know we're leaving lots of content untouched here. But that's because we want Eldoth! There we are. So, let's see here. Let's drop this medium shield. Uh, we'll transfer some sling stones over here. Sling, non-magical club. I mean, full plate does sell for something. There might be a, a weight limit here. Be direct. All right. Speak Hang on. Dreadwolves, okay, that should be fine. Vampiric wolves can be a little scary. By little, I mean a lot. 
All right, hold off. Gentlemen, gentle women, may I introduce myself? It is a surprise to find such beautiful people wandering the woods. All of you look rather weary down on your times, I might say. Why don't we all rest and I'll treat you to some fresh and perhaps some Burduskin amber wine. Ooh, yeah, I'm sort of thirsty right now. I mean, every time this comes up, I'm like, this guy's going to poison us, right? But no, no, he's... He's fine. Hope you're enjoying your liquor. Some of the best I can find. All oh, you're probably wondering why I'm being so generous. Obviously not from the kind of the heart you think. Well, in a way, I am. You look like the type to be on the outlook for some ways to improve the quality of life. Well, I have a proposal that could help you in this endeavor. You see, there's a girl, my lover, in fact, who desires to escape her father and live on her own. Her father's entire silver shield, one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This, of course, makes her desires more difficult than that of the average city girl. However, with your assistance, we could help her escape the tyrannical clutches of Entar. Here's a punchline: since Entar's going to be hunting us anyway, we can blackmail him for hordes of cash, and not worry about our captive escaping. I like hordes of cash. After all, we're doing it all for the sake of Sky. Now we need, needn't go about this right away. In fact, I'll help you with whatever you're doing until you decide to tap the Baldur's Gate. Just to think of it as one favor deserving another. Sure, we could use the extra help and your scheme sound like it could work. Boop. I'm glad you're all savvy enough to recognize a good opportunity when it comes. All right, listen, Jahir, it's time we had a conversation. You know, yes, we're in a party with some questionable morals. I'm not going to deny that. But you did murder a commoner in plain sight in that inn in Nashkel. I mean, oh, yeah, dude, you were under a spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the common people don't understand that. All they know is that you killed a peasant right in the middle of the inn's common room. It, the innkeeper still hasn't returned to his normal standing spot. He's that shocked. I think, I think it's time we part ways. Now, I, I, you know, um, um, Khalid is still drinking in that in that pub with uh, with Volo. Maybe you want to join him. What, what's that? You're going to stay in these woods and contemplate what you've done. You're just going to stand here forever and not move? All right. Weird choice, but I guess that's fine. Okay. How long must we wait here? Things stir to the south as we sit. There you go. So Jahir's just going to chill right over here. All right. Eldoth the Bard. So, yeah. yeah. He is getting one extra hit point for a level from Constitution. It could be two if it was up to a 16. 16 is the most that a non-warrior class um, can, can get. Warriors are fighters, paladins, and rangers, or multi-class versions of those. Um, so yeah, he doesn't quite get the max, but he gets, you know, some over here, which is okay, I suppose. Uh, 16th rank gives him a little bit of a strength. I don't think we want a meleeing, though, is the problem. What are his proficiencies? Scimitar, Wakizashi, Ninjato, and Longbow. Yeah, I think I, I he's not... Uh, I mean, he, he can level up still, but I don't think he's going to ever be tanky enough that we'll feel comfortable putting him on the front lines. Luckily, all he has to do for us really is sane. So, I think that's going to be okay. If we level you up here, more proficiency slot. Can we double proficiency? No. I think... Can you wear a shield? Can't back out at this point. Um, hang on. Baldur's Gate Bard. Can you use a shield? Can only use bucklers. Because here's the thing. What I could do... Well, I was going to say, I could do something like throw sword and shield style on him. Because... He's actually a good example of where the bonus against missile weapons might be useful. If he's just sitting back singing, um, we don't want him to be hit by missile weapons, does that. But that'll only work when he's actually wielding uh, the shield, right? If he's got his longbow equipped, then that's not going to happen. I suppose I could give him dart, because he could use a... Or, sorry, sling. Or, or dart, I suppose. But I could give him sling, so he could use the sling while wielding a shield. Uh, because I think the sling is one-hander. And then he would get to take advantage of the... Um, sword and shield style. Alternatively, if I don't give him a shield and just give him single weapon style, it's pretty good. But again, this is not gonna. This only works with the melee weapon attack, or, um, selected or whatever. So anyway, I'm thinking not. I think what I might do is give him the shortbow proficiency, because longbows are strictly better for like a little bit more damage. But um, we don't have anyone in the group who uses shortbows, and I think there's a good shortbow in Baldur's Gate one. I'm trying to remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. So we could consider that. We could give him the crossbow frequency, which crossbows aren't as good as bows because they only attack once per round by default instead of two per round. We could give him the army scythe. Bolts are a little harder to come by. Some of them are pretty good. We could give him dagger and equip him with the dagger of poison. But again, I, I, I just my instinct is to keep this guy out of melee. 
if he had like an 18 strength, then things might be different. Because then his melee would actually be pretty impressive as long as he wasn't on the front line. Um, I guess conceivably I could give him a weapon with a certain amount of reach. Two-handed sword or the, like a halberd for example. Because then he could stand as like a second row fighter. But again, I think his biggest contribution is just going to be singing. So we're going to assume he's going to do range shit. Um, yeah. And then if need be, we can have him just use, yeah, Scimitar, Wakazashi, Ninja Toe, or Ninjato. I'll give him the short bow in case we find a cool short bow. I don't think I care too much about what goes on here. Hopefully that's not incorrect, but we'll see. Now, your spell is your mage book. Okay, well, you can learn horror. And yeah, I think you can learn um, from scrolls. Can you cast in armor? What's your worry? Well, you're wearing studded leather. It looks like the answer is no. So I think we may use it as more of a utility caster. Um, I'm just going to set your script here. Sing Bard Song. So this should automatically toggle the bard song on and off for me. I will listen for now. Or keep it on forever. I think, does it cancel when he moves? Or other things might interrupt, but yeah, he's going to keep this up. Um, can we find out what the bard song does? Because I'm trying to think in Isondale, at least, it's like multiple different songs, or as you level up, I guess you get more songs unlocked, right? You just use the better one? Use bard song. Bard Song is the following uh, effects. Restore morale, remove fear, protection from fear. Yeah, spells can't be cast. Do you not get the uh, different songs? Bard Song. Let's check the wiki here. Wait, is it only Icewind Dale where you actually get, like, awesome badass songs? Patch does give unkitted normal bard song plus one luck bonus to all allies, which then levels up. And luck is just a flat plus one to everything, I think. Yeah, I guess it's in Icewind Dale where the songs are much more interesting and more potent. Now, it doesn't say anything about luck here. But it does in the wiki. All right. I mean, hopefully this is going to be useful. If it if it turns out that we're not happy with Eldoth, we'll just ditch him for Baloth, which might happen anyway. Again, I think he's paired with Sky, the person we have to rescue, who's a... Um, Who's a thief? I think she's actually a, I think she's a neutral thief, not evil. I mean, he's neutral evil, but I think she's like, maybe she's chaotic neutral, something like that, or true neutral. I'm not sure. One of the two. Um, and we really don't need a dedicated thief. What is interesting here, though, is that he does have, um, I don't know where it was, but he does have pickpocket. He had a uh, 55 percent pickpocket stats. Yeah, right here. 55% pickpockets. Hmm. I wonder if that's enough to do a little bit of something something. I'm not sure. Anyway, all right. Now that we've got him, we've got tons of little side quest content to, uh, to take care of. So, one of the things I really want to do is I want to kill Basilius so we can get a cool axe. Um, well, we're talking about selling. Yeah, I should probably do a shit ton of selling because our inventory is getting a little full. And I, I, I was just waiting because I didn't want to have to micromanage, like, making sure to remember where I was selling things. Let's, um, let's actually, we can dump things in the carnival.
You have been waylaid by enemies oh, and spiders. must defend yourself. Not keen on that. Also, so dull. yeah, so you shouldn't be attacking at all because you're singing. What's your of course, you'll still get attacked. You didn't get poisoned, so at least that's good. Speak and be gone. Okay. Come to the carnival, because I'm very unlikely to come here very often, and there's quite a few vendors, so I'm not worried about uh, getting the depreciating prices too much. I don't know if there's anything on this map other than the, the, the carnival. There might be. We can kill the exploding ogre for some XP. We can... There's the one dude who wants... is like, threatening to kill that... Other caster, the other lady. What else is there? This is Bronwyn. Oh, wait. All right. Did I really miss things that way. I'm just gonna poke the uh, screens here in case it opens up something. Oh. Yeah, I did kind of miss all the content. All right. We you shall hold food. here. You look tired. Yes, I'm the one who looks you tired. You need a new tailor. Your clothes all are right, absolutely Binky. dreadful. All right, Binky. Get out of here. Somewhere I think it would be here. well to stop Is it and rest. Here that you got the merchant that sells you the unidentified potions. Oh, I know a discerning eye when I see one. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna take these uh, potions. Uh, and I'll take the second one as well. The purple and the red potion the are, as it turns out, surprisingly good. Because you can sell them for a crap ton of money. Ooh, I will listen for now. Oh, it dropped the gem bag. I need because we were full here. Although you're not Speak full anymore. There you gone. go. Yeah, when the quest, uh, when something like an interaction gives you items, it drops something that you already own from your inventory, which I seems pretty sketchy because like now. it seems really easy to just oh, lose something important. I would speak with you. Oh, hey, yeah. Let's advance your personal quest. Mission. I have a lead on one of my former companions, the necromancer, Krill. She was seen east of the Nashkel mines, but I know nothing more specific. I found a woman who knew where I could find Krill, but she did not respond well to my interrogation. Where is she now? Taris, as she is called. Yeah, she's just outside the inn in Nashkel. In Nashkel. She was searching for her husband or something like that. I do not commit such trivialities to memory. I'll keep her in mind. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, there you go. Violet Potion gives you 25 strength. Three dexterity, three constitution for 24 hours. Uh, the red, I guess we don't have in here, but let's ID some stuff. Rashad's Talon. Oh, that's what we got from that random dead body. Um, and that's interesting. As a plus two scimitar, etc., etc., etc. Not a bad weapon for Eldoth. Again, I don't know if I want him running into melee, because I'm just assuming this is going to lead to a lot of reloads. This is the medium shield that uh, Jahiro is using for a long time. Um, which... I guess you were already using that one. Yeah, you were already using the plus one, but we can ID it anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can use a medium shield. Oh, that's it for my IDs for the day? Okay. There's the other potion here. There you go. Red potion. 50% resistance to magical damage. 25 intel. Does tank your wisdom and strength. Uh, but they're actually su like surprisingly good potions. However, what we can also do is just sell them to someone else. Uh, for a crap ton of cash, which is what we're going to do here. No, 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 no. Be direct. Um, is there any, like... Wonders I have seen. I'm assuming... The yeah, these are locked. Now we can pick them and this guy will aggro. We could probably escape the flaming fist, but hey, great Kazib, you got something cool to show us? I'm an exploding ogre. What? I gotta see this. Oh my God, he did explode! Wow, that's great. We see that again. There's the ogre. Is he gonna explode this time? Oh my God, he explodes! How exciting! All right, one more time. Oh my God, he aggroed. What a unforeseen. I was worried about Eldoth running forward, but it was freaking Dorn who just took 32 points of damage. Well, 36. How 
you don't. Oh. We're fine. Everything's good. Heal, heal, heal. Heal, heal, heal. Alright. Uh, you're a pickpocket, aren't you? Yeah. Hoping we'd be able to murder him before he left. Be direct. Oh well. We'll kill him later. Uh, okay, nothing here. I think you can gamble, but. Leave us alone. All right. Here. Nothing for you here. So I suspect our our course of action here is probably going to be to dying, but I don't think I care. You know, evil. You there, step back. If any of you come close, I'll kill her. I'm serious. Don't make me do it. All I have to do is say the last word in my spell and I'll die. Whatever. Don't tell me what to do. Step aside until you, unless you get hurt. There you Speak go. And be gone. So yeah, she instantly dies. Oh, well. Now you die. You can, you can come to this, uh, this area when you're fairly low level. So I'm really not expecting any fights to be anywhere near a challenge right now. Which is good. Because, you know, dying sucks. What is it this time? Don't bore. You are so irritated. You're so dumb. We could, so we could have Eldoth learn shield, presumably, and use that and then ask to have another caster. I don't know. I think this is going to be the thing I with him. Will listen We're just having no now. idea what to do with this guy. Hey. Be direct. Yeah, here. I have a throwing dagger. Oh, yeah. Potion, potion, potion. I mean, one throwing dagger is not very useful, but sure. Wow, that's remarkably Speak little stuff. And be gone. So I can put it in here, and then if I I will listen for now. Are you is it on throwing mode right now? I thought you had to like do something toggle or something. No, all right. Be direct. So you got the option of doing this. Hey, merchant. I've got the best prices this side of corn. Uh, yeah. Let's see what you offer. Okay. So here's where we're gonna dump a lot of stuff. What is this stuff? Uh, oh yeah, necklace of uh, fireball protector. Yep, plus one AC. Now this doesn't stack with like the rings and magical armor and stuff, um, so it does start to fill up pretty quickly. It's charge ability to cast shield. Yeah. Uh, Topsiders crush is infravision, which you don't care about. Some protection scrolls. We'll load up on protection from petrification. And go hunt some basilisks. They are worth a lot of XP, but. I think what's going to happen here is we're going to sell off all of these gems. So we don't have to worry about diminishing returns in other shops. And yeah, we want to sell every copy of the same thing in one swoop. Uh, can we... I wonder if we can talk to the guy in Nashkel with these emeralds. I'll hold on to them for now. We want to hold on to the Joseph Greenstone ring. That's another thing we have to do in Nashkel. Okay. Now, these bags do actually have a maximum capacity. All right. Sell that for 1800 bucks. Nice. Keep those for now. That's good. I'll uh, sell the halberd, the quarter staff. So he doesn't buy armor. I mean, not everyone buys everything. Um, so the Wakazashi is in the same category, scimitar, etc., etc. We have the plus two because we have Rashad's talent. I don't think we need to keep this around at all. Um, we can finally sell this girdle, which I've been holding on to for a long time. Yeah, the inventory management site. Huh. When did I steal the composite longbow? We don't actually have a lot of stuff that gets flagged as stolen here. Did I actually... I might have actually done a stealing from a shop. Because it's something you can do... Here, with the pickpocket? No? Is there not a steal button? Is that... It's not not in this game? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. On, we got a bunch of un stuff. But there you go. See these potions over here? We bought them for 50 each. 
So, good profit. Sell them. Um, so the Harer Longsword... Yeah, I don't think there's any reason for us to hold on to that. Uh, this, oh, no. We've got to keep this for now until we turn in the quest. We'll keep the scrolls for now as well. Um, I could do some IDing, but we're IDing two things a day with Quill now. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not in a rush. So I don't think we're buying anything from this guy. Okay. Speak and be gone. Now, I don't remember if you get XP from clearing Bronwyn. This way, good sir. Over here. Hey, Zeke. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk to you. Yeah, we don't, we're not interested in buying a scroll from you for 500 bucks. But I might be interested What's your worry? in pickpocketing. I don't know how much pickpocketing we need. Hey, we're successful. There you go. Stone the flesh. I think we only need 50 Dead for that. Born. So I'm going to do this just on the off chance we get XP for freeing Bronwyn. I will listen for now. By the ice breath of well, we have no need of your services. And taste again. I really like Bronwyn. I, I usually use Bronwyn in all my runs. She's neutral as well, so she can fit in, in any party. She's fantastic. Uh, but again, because I use her usually, I'm not gonna this time because we're looking for differences. I don't think there's anything else in any of these tents. I think there's a lot more gambling. Oh, so there's a merchant here. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. Oh, he buys armor. Wow, the full plate. Is... Hold on. Should we be equipping the full plate on anyone? Yeah. It's an AC update to Quill right now, which makes sense because I'm not wearing, you know, super intense armor. I guess... Yeah, that does put me to minus three. Yeah, I guess it's worth doing that. Okay. Be direct. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. So let's sell all three full or plate mails at the same time, so we don't get the diminishing return. Uh, studded leather armor plus one. Hold on, I think. Yeah, there we go. Actually, which really means. Wait, how's this not an upgrade? Why is that not highlighting? Is this leather? I guess this is leather plus two versus studded leather plus one. What's the weight? Five. Fifteen. Yeah, I guess that's it. Well, I guess wear this one to save a little bit of weight to give you carrying capacity. I mean, we could sell the uh, Protector the Second for a little bit more, but it seems okay. Speak and be gone. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. So the stud leather is never going to be worth anything, but yeah, we'll sell the plus one. I think that's okay. Oh yeah, we got to drop that longbow. All right, none of that is ID'd. Is this is red. Is it stolen, or does it just mean she can't wear it? Yeah, okay. I guess the red was just, you can't wear it. Dun, dun, dun. Does it flag itself as stolen in here? Hmm. Yeah, I must have stolen it from my character, because I was like, oh yeah, I didn't have the money to buy the... Ah, I didn't have the money to buy the composite Belongo. Did I steal it from Winthrop way back when, at the start of the game? I think that might be possible. Okay. I will listen yes. for now. Yeah, I need to rest Be before direct. I can do more ID. I guess it was worth poking in there. I was gonna say, most of this is going to be a lot. I don't think there's anything else notable here. There's so many little tents and things that I'm always worried about maybe missing it, but... Alright. So we're off to Nashgal. We've got a few... What? Why am I getting a text message? Who dares send me text messages? I don't want to talk to anyone. All right, we're good. Oh my, we do have to put a cut in this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you next time for more evil.